Good morning. I'm going to take you along today for a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom, homeschool mom of four little ones. So join us. Getting ready to make some pancakes at the request of all my girls. So join me while we do that. <laughs>
bunch of kimchi and a sourdough English muffin that I made. Lots of coffee. There will be lots of coffee today. Sounds like my local farm order is here, so I'm going to grab that. Here it is. And let's see what's inside. Mm -hmm. The girls are all curious too. So we've got some yummy fresh baked yeah. rolls. Those look good. What else? Some Brussels sprouts. This is all from local farms. Here's some green beans. What you got? Ooh, some cucumbers. And more cucumbers. Is there more? There's four cucumbers, I think. Awesome, yep. Let's see squash. what else. Yep, some squash. Squash. Looks good. Oh, there's two more things of squashes. Mm -hmm. More squash. And what's this? A purple carrot? That is a purple carrot. Let's see. Hold it up. That's cool. Two of them. Awesome. Oh. Yep, we can use that. Some delicious Ooh, lettuce. Yeah. More cucumber. Yeah, Ooh, that lettuce else? is so good. Ooh, some blueberries. <clears throat> Ooh, some blueberries. Mm. Well, you like blueberries. No, I don't. Some cucumbers. Baby, baby. Okay, is that it? Yep. Oh, no. All right, the that's it. went rolling down. Oh, no. It's ah. not falling. Okay, Why let's pick it up. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. So the girls are doing their morning routine. So I thought I'd show you this is what I made for them to help them see what their morning routine is and what they need to do. So that's what they're working on right now. Okay, we're ready to start morning basket. I'll start it. You want to start the song? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Immortal, invisible, God only walks tree. The apostles tree. To walk I believe. I believe. In God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. And in Jesus, in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was... Question 54. What do you understand by the communion of saints? First, that believers, all and everyone, as members of Christ, have communion with him. And share in all his treasures and gifts. And share in all his treasures and gifts. Second, I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another. We're going to pray for Mr. Sean because he's sick, okay? Yeah, how did he get sick? I don't know. Let's go before the Lord in... Fear and reverence. Okay. And bow our head and close our eyes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Go ahead. It faced the house, and it was 100 feet long. The horse's row of box stalls was in the middle. <laughs> At one end was the calves' shed and beyond it, the snug hen house. All right, we're heading out to get a little snack and go to the library real quick. The kids haven't really been anywhere all week, so that's gonna be our little outing for this Friday. Got a couple things from our local bakery. Mama got a coffee and this everything croissant. And for the girls, we got some cute little Easter egg cookies. This one has lavender and lemon, and these two are strawberry. So that's gonna be our treat today. We are walking downtown to the main library because that is the library that has most of the books that I wanted to get. And they have the biggest and nicest children's section. So that's where we're headed.
for the sauce to take away now. Sweet dreams, tomato sauce. Phew, we made it back to the car. We're ready to head home with all of our books. Everyone's in, everyone's got their book they picked out. It's not nighttime, we're just in the parking garage. And everyone's looking at their book on the ride home. So here we go. All right, so the plan for the rest of the day is make lunch, eat lunch. Then we have some school that we need to do and we need to read some of those library books that we just got. And then I'm gonna work on some dishes, have a lot of dishes over here that need to be done, and some laundry. But that's the plan for the rest of the day. Hall, so you can see what we got from the library today. We got some Beatrix Potter stories. I really wanted to read Peter Rabbit with the girls. So, of course, that's the first book in here, or the first story in here. So we're going to read that this afternoon, and then we'll read some of these other stories next week. And then my oldest daughter picked this out. It's about gardening and growing things that go in pizza. And it looks like a lot of fun. And then at the end, it gives you a little recipe. It's cute. For my two-year-old, we got this Every Color Soup. It's also garden vegetables. And it goes through primary colors. Next is this little donut book, something that the girls just wanted. Um, they just wanted to read this together, something they found. Big Red Barn, Margaret Wise Brown. That's one that my um, four-year-old picked. And then this one is one of the books from our kindergarten curriculum that was recommended. So we grabbed that. This one was also recommended in the curriculum. We like Frog and Toad, so that should be good. This one was also recommended. And then we're supposed to be getting some butterfly books. So I grabbed this one and it has lots of little smaller flip pages. So I know the girls are gonna enjoy that. So that's everything we got at the library today. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had, and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley.
So to wrap up this day in the life, I wanted to read you a passage of scripture. It is the most repeated Old Testament verse in the New Testament. That's why some people like to call it God's favorite Bible verse, which is funny, but it's Psalm 110. So I just wanted to read that to you and give you some encouragement. A Psalm of David. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty scepter. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power in holy garments. From the womb of mourning, the dew of your youth will be yours. The Lord has shown and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter kings on the day of his wrath. He will execute judgment among the nations, filling them with corpses. He will shatter chiefs over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook by the way. Therefore, he will lift up his head. So who is the Lord sitting at the right hand? It's Christ. Christ is sitting at the right hand of God the Father right now. And Christ is ruling and reigning in the midst of his enemies. So no matter how crazy things get in the world, I want you to remember that Christ is ruling and reigning even now, even in this moment. And you can take comfort in the fact that you know him. If you truly know him, he is ruling and reigning. So I hope that brings you encouragement and comfort today. Thanks for hanging out with me on this day in the life and I'll see you next time.